Hi, my name is Mark Walker. I'm the editorial director here at the FinTech Times. Uh, I'm going to start off by asking uh, my interviewee to introduce himself to you, the audience. Uh, my name is uh, Abdelaziz Jof. Uh, everyone called me AA. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Paytubs. Uh, we started the company in 2014, 15. And uh, it's been a journey to digitize the, the payment in, in the region. Fantastic. And obviously, we're here at the moment in Riyadh, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You were fortunate enough to, to help us with our Middle East and Africa report, which we published back in May. Um, obviously, Paytabs have, and yourself have quite an extensive understanding of this whole region. So what I really wanted to sort of start off with is looking at how you've seen the growth of fintech across the whole of the Middle East and Asia region, not just within payments, but within to other subsectors as well, such as lending. Sure. I, I think if uh, fintech become a kind of, I will say, an, an abused word, I mean, any, some, any company who touched the payment, I mean, or digitized something, they, it's, been, it's become called fintech services or fintech company. But the reality is, is, is more greater than, I mean, just payment, as you said. I mean, uh, you can see in the exhibition today, there's so many surfaces. Some of them is targeting very niche market to digitize the, the payment and, and that space or digitize the, the payment in that space. Uh, I, I think the market as a whole, I mean, the region is still going to have another, I will say, five years of growth and i think another five years i mean i'm looking to like 26 27 where you start to see consolidation and and i'm sure you have you start to see consolidation already from now uh i i think those niche services or niche companies will be eaten by bigger uh company this is one two a lot of International companies try to come to the market. They've been trying to penetrate the market. They've been trying to even enter the market. But uh, one thing which I always say, I mean, you need to localize your brand and understand the business culture to have a market entry, which is really missing uh, across a lot of international companies who have been coming in. Yeah, and I guess on that sort of point, thinking about pay tabs and your activities across the GCC. A lot of people think of the GCC as a one, one common market or everything's the same, but that's not true, is it? No, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, th this is one critical key. I mean, uh, happening today is, I mean, when, when we talk to someone internationally and say, we are in MENA market. Today, we are not only in GCC, but we are in MENA, right? We cover Morocco all the way to India, okay? And believe it or not, each and every single market has its own stand when it comes to regulation, bank regulation, and even bank uh, policies and, and payment uh, policy. And it's very difficult for a market entry if you do not understand how to target and tackle uh, this market. And I think if we sort of Specifically, if we were to think about Turkey, for example, which I know you obviously have some activity in, what's the, what's the main differences between running payments through Turkey and, say, running through here? In I, I, I think, uh, let me put it for you this way, how to run pay tabs in different countries. Okay, uh, today I talked to the Turkish team in the morning, and then after that I talked to the pay tab team in, in Jordan, and after that I talked to the pay tab team in Saudi. Okay. I mean, as, as a person, I mean, I really have to switch my mind with each one of them and start to understand what they are going to be facing. Uh, this is one, two is the way we work in every market is going really, to we are not, we don't do copy cut when it comes to product, right? We are trying to customize our product and offering in every market we go. Our objective, and my personal objective as, as a founder and a pay top CEO, is really how to add value by digitizing more transactions to the market and offer more added value 
to corporate govern governments uh, or, or, or banks or fintech services or fintech uh, companies. <coughs> so every market you go, it is going to has its very unique offering that you literally kind of just copycat. Okay. And every time we have the same product, but every market we go, we have to customize it to fit and in, into that specific market. Yeah. And as you say, I guess that's because each, each of the individual countries or regions has a slightly different point in their development. Yes. You know, some areas, uh, would you agree that somewhere like say the UAE is a little bit more developed and then somewhere like Turkey is, is, is kind of still developing very quickly and very well, but is, is still got some way to go. True. I, I, I think to, to give you, uh, I would say a, a proper comparison. I mean, you see Egypt, I mean, I think 195% of our transactions running through QR, for example. But when you come to Saudi, 95% running through MediCard. So you're going to have to adapt to that market, understand, I mean, how to develop the QR more and further. But to fit more further into that in Egypt market, but in Saudi, the QR is, is, I mean, not like the NFC. The NFC almost like, I think it's almost like 99% today. I mean, I'm sure you, you came here. Everyone has its own Apple or Samsung or Meta app where he just touched the phone. So I would say Saudi market is 100% NFC market. When you go to Egypt, I mean, well, the, the market is far being... Uh, NFC, but it's very heavy in, in QR. Yeah, and I think obviously, you know, if you then look at somewhere like Europe or the uh, the comparison between Europe and the US, NFC doesn't really exist very does much it, in exactly. the US, yeah. and, and does is, is pretty much the only way that people work. I, in I, 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 very true. I, I was talking to a friend of mine uh, who just came back from US, and he told me, "You won't be shocked. Out of ten transaction, as an average, as a ratio." He said, I managed to do Apple Pay only five times. So it just give me an estimation of if you come to Saudi here, out of 10 shops, you're going to do 10 times Apple Pay. Yeah. And I think that's kind of one of the things, one of the advantages, if you like, of working in this Middle East and Africa region is that you can effectively jump over a couple of historical steps that perhaps the US have still got stuck on. You know what they call, they got the frog jump. Uh, when you look to the market ac across the region, I mean, the jump been happening in the last five, 10 years. When we started PayTab, it was 75% cash and delivery. Today is zero. So we, we, we have seen so many activities and trends happening across the region. Uh, which changing extremely fast and very well developed, I mean, uh, markets. And w one thing I, I will say, I mean, which I have not seen in, in Europe or US, those market been driven by consumers use and, and needs. And it's not like, I mean, where I have seen in Europe or US where, I mean, everyone gets an iPhone in Europe and US. Uh, especially in the US, but still today, you literally have to carry the cards uh, in place, which is, for me, I feel it's against the consumer's needs, right? It seems strange to have to carry two uh, exactly, devices yeah. around with you at all times. Exactly, exactly. exactly yeah. um, perhaps my final question in relation to sort of the, the report in the Middle East. If and when we write the report next year, what changes do you think we're going to have seen between this year's report and next year's report? I, I think uh, the region will have, so it, it's each market has its own, I would say, value and strength uh, and uh, surprise. Uh, I think you'll see more development, but overall, I would say we will see more cash, digital cash transaction happening. We'll see more of, of digitizing transaction coming up. We seen, we seen markets like Iraq, Morocco, uh, Egypt, uh, where the, the, 
requirements of digitizing transaction is, is in demand now. Uh, so I see a good movement coming up of, of cashless, I mean, uh, movement uh, happening. And since you volunteered Paytabs, how many countries is Paytabs going to be available in next year? I think we, <clears throat> I think to, to be frank with you, I mean, at the beginning, I wanted to cover the MENA market. We are today. We got us to be in, in the entire region today. I think what we are doing since last year is really how to build market share, how to create an impact to become part of the, the cash digitization and cashless uh, movement. I think this is where I, I look to pay top and how I look to pay tops. The, the final, final question. We're here at 24 FinTech. This is the first event here in the kingdom for FinTech. What are your uh, thoughts about how the event has been? I, I think the event uh, got uh, new blood, new organizer, a uh, new atmosphere, I would say. The, I can see more excitement in this event. Uh, to be frank with you, we have not been exhibitioning for the last five years. I mean, I have been always taking the back seat. Uh, this is kind of the first time to come out of the bear sleep. Uh, we start to see the market moving different direction. Even us at Betab, I mean, uh, we've been becoming more of an ecosystem platform today. And the event the event uh, managed to bring this feeling uh, to, to the space here. Uh, hopefully it will be a successful uh, event and it's been run and, and sponsored by Central Bank of Saudi, by Saudi Payment. And I mean, I, I always, uh, I have this deep appreciation I mean, for the change they have managed to bring to the country. I mean, you are talking to someone who's 10 years ago been asked, what are you doing? Okay, to today, I mean, you got hundreds of companies today. Uh, I think we were the first company to launch FinTech. We launched the company before even the FinTech word was recognized. And um, I feel old and I feel blessed, I mean, to see this movement and become part of, of, of the movement as the godfather of fintech. Godfather of fintech. That's the perfect place to, to finish. Thank you very much, godfather of fintech, for joining me here at 24 Fintech. Thank you.